Hey collectors, Anthony from HashesNet here, and today we're taking a look at Transformers Legacy Bulkhead. Now, he is a quote-unquote G1 update of the animated character, and his head is obviously inspired by the animated, uh, maybe a little bit of the Prime character, but uh, his body is probably more Prime than animated. I don't know. You tell me. But when we get back, we're going to take a look at this big guy. And here we have Transformers Generation Legacy Voyager Class Bulkhead. And, um, I, I, boy, he, his transformation kept me guessing because I don't know how many of you tried to transform without the instructions first. I really had to go, okay, I've spent an hour trying to figure this out. What am I not getting? Come to find out there is a superfluous part that once you move it out of the way from the bot transformation has no use in alt mode. And that really, that really, wow. Okay, so uh, standing next to him, of course, is his WaveMate uh, blaster. And uh, you can see comparatively the sizes. We'll move them a little bit closer together. And uh, about the same size. Of course, a lot more mass on Bulkhead, as it were. Even with Ejector, we want to remember when he came with, I think it's Eject. Uh, blaster is no comparison. So here is the box. And uh, it has the, you know, nice little Bulkhead art on here. This transformation and this um this annoys me the crap bulkhead is a space bridge engineer his wisdom or intelligence whatever is not three it's easily nine uh anyway what's in the box okay so and i'm probably gonna gush on this through the entire wave uh but cardboard insert and um now that i love no more blister that's great but then we end up with no plastic here, and they still use the plastic ties. Uh, that is the questionable part. Like, I, I, we know they're capable of doing the paper ties. We've seen them. They do it in the studio series, but for the Generations um, mainline legacy here, no bueno. Anyway, also comes with the really hard to read, at least in my case, instructions, and the don't hurt yourself paper. Now, uh, Bulkhead, as I said, he's he's fairly meaty. Uh, he is tight, like, at least my version is. It's just like my blaster. All the joints are super tight, which I appreciate because when I spent an hour trying to figure out how this guy transformed, I was like, okay, half my problem is the tightness. Now, of course, he comes with his, his little ball thing, which fits on his wrist. Uh, I forget what they call it. Eh. Anyway, he also comes with this blue gun thing here. Oh. And uh, it has multiple different peg options. You can actually uh, peg it in on a three millimeter port into his back side here. Uh, let's see if I can get it. There we go. And kind of do that, which is actually pretty cool. But uh, we'll put that aside. And um, he also has this shield piece, which you can let's see if I can get it to do it. Get this out, it can go on his arm, or you can put wherever there's a five mm port, and he gets a shield. Now his arms are kind of short compared to how much reach you'd have, so you really can't put it in front of him. But I mean, I guess you can be creative. And we'll take that off, and we'll stick it aside here. Now the instruction for the transformation actually includes this piece, but I think it's just in the way more than anything else, so we're just gonna put it aside. And, um, this is the one thing I really like. He doesn't... I mean, other than this cavity area here, there's no real openings, which which tells you that... And I feel like Gotbot's going to weigh him if he gets one to borrow because he doesn't want it. Um, he's going to say, yeah, this is, this is the right amount of plastic for this class of figure. I believe he said Blaster with Eject was just at the, uh, the minimums, so I expect Bulkhead to be easily somewhere in the center. Now... Um, Transformation is weird because there is a shoulder bit here which reminds me of Studio Series Cup and I worry about stressing it. But then there's this bit, the leg where the waist unfolds like twice and again that's where I was like that rampant piece. I was like, well, where does this go? Uh, anyway, so first things first, uh, there is these little tabs here just to attach them here and uh, you're going to move up this piece here just so it's out of the way. You need to make sure it's out of the way. 
and you're going to slide down the shoulders. If I can get them to do it, come on. Okay, another thing you're going to do, this is actually lo loose-ish after you disconnect it from here. So, trying to get these things to slide down, because you have to pull them over. Come on. There we go. Because there's a little bit, yeah, because there's connected, like, back here, and you have to go over this to free this as well. So you're doing two things at once. And um, when you get it pulled as far as you can, you can pull bulkheads to head down, and then there's this black piece here that fills in the top cavity. Which, that, that took me a little while, too. I was like, how do I get this in here? I didn't realize you had to pull all this out. Now, the funny thing is, his his arms do the uh, front wheels. And uh, mine are super t difficult to get together. Let me see if I can fold the fists in like this. And try to line up these two tabs. There we go. Got it. So, slide the arms in. And they do this nice satisfying little kind of it doesn't really lock per se more than they just fit comfortably and um, make sure that everything's flush and the tires have clearance and uh, snaps into place there very good uh, move this piece up a little bit you can actually move these tires down and they go out because you're going to use this piece in a minute so here is where I got mostly stumped. This piece here actually comes off. This, this is what was holding the front end to the waist. And it does nothing else. This is basically, it's just gonna hang there and be in the way. And uh, that is that is just prime, I guess. And I would like to point out that this bulkhead is kind of nice crossover between animated and prime, I think in design. And of course they give that G1 aesthetic, which is the the thing they're doing now with uh, the figures. Now there is another piece here, and you see I did that, and you can keep the legs up. This piece locks into here, and then this piece, again, goes out of the way. It does nothing else, because again, you're not using it for this form. But before you get that far, you gotta bend the legs, and just close the feet up, we just leave them like this for a sec because you can't you'll lock them in here and then you'll have a problem in a minute just make sure everything is stay lined up and before we get too far inside the legs is the gas tank and it, it comes out on a ball joint and then you can close the top piece off once you have it and then there's some tabs it locks into. And it might be easier to have the legs stretched out while you do this. So there are tabs on the bed here, or on the aren't legs here, I should say, that attach that stabilize the bed for now you can attach them. And you can fold these up and tab them in and uh, now we can attach this back piece which goes into these two tabs here and I don't know maybe it's just my version but it doesn't seem to be very tight but then you have to line up the tabs here and again see this does nothing it's just hanging there just fill in space now maybe again my copy the tires, this is a this is a frictiony surface. They don't really grip unless you put weight on it. So I, I may have mistransformed a little bit. Something might be a little off, but to each his own. So then these actually tab in on here. Yep. Make sure you're holding it together so you can get them in here. Yep, mine popped out. Let's see if I can get it back in there. There we go. Uh, then this tabs in kind of sideways. There we go. And then finally, this tabs in here.
close the top. Then there are little tabs on both sides where the back end meet. I, I'm torn on the, maybe I mistransformed a bit, but I mean, I'm not putting any pressure on it. I can put pressure on it and then I'll get some tire movement, but like the shins are in the way. I mean, otherwise it's a pretty solid figure. I mean, the fact that the connection doesn't really stay here unless you connect everything else. The fact that you have one, two tabs here, tab here, tab here, still have them prone to pop out. And then you add two more tabs for the top here. I don't know. But that is Bulkhead. And that was Transformers Generation Legacy Bulkhead. Now, funny thing, as I was transforming him uh, back to uh, bot mode for the final shot, I actually chipped a piece off his shoulders on the back in that black plastic area. So just a reminder, when you're transforming him, remember to put the tires uh, uh, together and then up on his back before you move his shoulders. Um, that, that way you don't cause that bit of breakage. It's not going to impact anything, but it's just a word of warning. Now, looking at Bulkhead here, he's uh, he's Bulkhead. He looks like Bulkhead to me. I get where they came from in the design process. Uh, and I didn't have a Bulkhead before, so it works perfectly for me. I think he's adequately bulky. So let me know what you think about this guy. Did you get him? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.